outside and the colored girls say Collective is a group of artists who train together in Austin, Texas to create original and revisited works of theater. Da Theater Collective does all kinds of theater. We have a children's show that's up and running. It's part of an educational program. The show is called Heron and Crane. It's interactive. The audience members who are usually students ages K through sixth grade um, interact and they create sounds and they also help to determine the ending of the show. Saw Theater Collective engages in a variety of training. We, of course, work with the draw scene system as a foundation for the training that we do. So that is a very rigorous physical training program that often involves um, stretching, exercises for coordination, for balance, for weight sharing. The draw scene system is a training program for preparing aspiring actors. It works on three branches. So first you would work on strength, then flexibility, and then coordination. And you begin by doing these exercises individually, and then that leads to working with a partner. And eventually you will use your physical awareness to approach choreography or stage combat or more advanced partnering, and then later full productions. Um, I have a very special relationship with Andre Drosnin. Um, I met him at an actor training program in 2006 and um, within about, it was less than a week that he had invited me to, to be his little protege basically. And um, he is a very, very unique individual. Um, he is so incredibly special. Um, he's very charming. He's uh, incredibly witty and funny, and I feel like he has been a part of me my whole life. Um, and of course, he is not. Uh, I think of him constantly. It is, this is the longest I have been away from him. Uh, and the last I saw him was in August, and it is uh, almost excruciating because we were inseparable for so long. Um, I have been by his side in every classroom uh, for the last three years, and it, uh, it is very interesting going out on my own. And he, he is in such support of what I'm doing. Um, I don't think that I've ever been uh, lifted up by any other human being the way that he has lifted me up. Uh, he, he saw my potential in me long before um, I understood what was there. I think my most memorable performance as an actor with Da Theater Collective would be Leave It to Beverly, which is the last show that we did. We did it in November of 2009, and it was just a really huge, fun production. Um, it was written by one of the collective members, Kirk German. He also directed the production. We chose Austin as our base of operations because we all care a lot about this community, and we feel like it is on the verge of becoming a viable place for professional actors to live and work. We also do a lot of work for the community. We feel very strongly about our relationship with Austin, Texas, and we've developed several programs for reaching out to the community at large. What I like best is that as a collective we are very serious about getting work done, but we also make a lot of space to be silly. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's where some of the most exciting creative, spontaneous, collaborative things can happen. It's important that you make a safe space so yeah. that you feel comfortable being creative in front of each other and taking risks. And I feel like we've established a yeah. really safe environment to work in. It's really important. Da Theater Collective is definitely my extended family. Yes. So there is no doubt about that. Um, we are all very close. Um, we, there is not an event that goes by in one of our lives that we don't all celebrate. And that's the same for times that are hard. We, we surround each other constantly. And it's, a, it's part of the work that we do. So there's just as much time catching up with each other as there is working hard. <laughs>